Are you going to vote yes on this supplemental bill? And then I guess my follow-up There's follow nine to billion dollars in humanitarian aid in this bill. But it I also cuts UNRWA, sir, and, and, and respectfully, it's sir, as a Palestinian American sending weapons, it's, it's going to kill more of my family. Even if the aid goes through, it's going to kill more of my family. Thank you. Senator, it's Please, 14 Senator. billion in weapons and only 2 billion in humanitarian aid. Thank you, Bernie! appreciate you, you know, introducing onto the floor at least, you know, you. the message that UNRWA should clean itself and that offensive weapons should be Those are exactly what we're trying to do. We are here to make our presence known to the Senate. We want them to know that we, the people of the United States, do not want our tax dollars to fund a genocide and that if they vote for this bill to go through, they are complicit in genocide and they are not immune to prosecution by both the ICC and the Department of Justice. The House already voted to pass this bill and today the Senate is planning to vote it too, which is going to send more billions uh 14 billion dollars in uh weaponry to israel which is gonna go kill my people in gaza that means all the tax money that i have paid and that we all have paid is gonna go be sent to israel to go kill more people in what's been the most aggressive and deadly genocide in modern history senator sanders touched upon this briefly but faa article 620 i states that it is unlawful for the united states to be providing military funds Funding to a government that is blocking the delivery of humanitarian aid, and Senator Leahy's law states that it is unlawful for the United States government to be providing military funding to an army that is committing human rights violations. So any congressman or any, any politician who votes yesterday is in violation of their own laws, the United States law.